Hey guys, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to another Clash of Kings video. A few of you were asking me in the comments to show you the King's buffs and, you know, what they do and everything. And I'm currently the maid, but I have been king twice in this kingdom, so I think I'm an authority to speak on this matter. Uh, I was the number three king, and I believe like the number ten king. And I could have had more, but I'd rather share them with the rest of the alliance who deserve to be king. And, uh, in case you're wondering, Bowsy will get his turn at King as well. We have a lot of good players here in the LOK, so, uh, Bowsy took a couple months off or he'd have done Ben King by now. But he's getting back in the mix now, so don't worry, we'll get Bowsy up there in that King so we can make some cool videos with it. But, yeah, well, before I go into the, the King buffs, as you can see, we have five level 40 equipment, three of them are orange. And then I'll begin that 40 orange ring here sometime this week. And then I'm not even going to mess with the pants and the boots because they don't give any attack buffs. So I'll just be doing, uh, going for gold. I'll probably go with the gold 35 uh, battle axe this time instead of the spear berries. And then when I switch the helmet, I like the light power helmet and you guys voted on it. But it only has two buffs instead of three. So I might go ahead and switch to the um, Knight's Visor. But, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't done a lot of attacking with it because CUA hasn't been attacking us much. So I've been laying off them enjoying the layover. But uh, I need to change that back to the Orange Dragon Glass since I'm gathering. I can get 20% Mithril production with that. But we went with the Meteor, the meteor Armor as, um, as I had told you guys I was going to go with. We got it. We got it upgrading right now. That level 40 orange meteor armor. It's going to look pretty sweet. If I can find it, there it is. Infantry, archer, cavalry, and the healing speed up. So that we can kick ass in more kill events. Win some more kill events. I didn't do the last kill event because I uh, had so much gold from the previous ones. And uh, there's there just wasn't a need to. And I was... You know, the kill event's a lot of work. I mean, I spend like 16 hours a day for four days and during the kill event to get them as 300 million points. So, especially now that people don't really gather as much during the kill event, there's not as many people in the kingdom since it's getting older. So, it's a lot harder to do. But let's get into the king buff since that's what you clicked on for the thumbnail. So, that's what I'm going to give you today. Um... When you win the throne, the leader of the alliance that wins the throne, they get to select a king. Uh, you can select even people outside of your alliance. They just have to be in your alliance for you to select them, and then they can leave. And they can join, you know, your other, their alliance, which are your allies to your alliance. So, like, for us, we don't have any alliance to any other alliances. It's just LOK versus the world. So, that, we don't got to worry about that, but... Uh, if we did, you know, these other alliances, like, um, they did it for ARY, um, you know, those alliances have done it for each other, but, uh, we haven't, we haven't done that yet, but anyway, Killer's the current king, and I'll go ahead and show you what the, what the king's working with, because it's pretty sweet, especially during a kill event, I had the king's buffs during one kill event, the king gets to select gifts for each, um, there's five Conqueror's Gifts, which are sweet. 1,000 gold, 2 million food. You get 22-hour troop speed-ups, five regular speed-ups, five healing speed-ups, three march accelerations, 60k honor. And then they get to send out 10 Defender's Gifts, which are the second best gifts, 750 gold, a million food. You still get 15 troop speed-ups and four speed-ups, two march accelerations, 40 um, alliance honor. And then a supporter's gift, which is what you give to, like, you know, you want to give the, the conqueror's gifts. I usually give them to the people who lose the most troops and who have helped the most. You know, someone there during the whole throne and actually cares and, you know, does anything they can to help. And then I also give those the defender gift, too, because it's still a good gift. And there's usually an LOK more than five people uh, putting their all into it. Um, and then the supporters gifts are the people that are, you know, reinforcing the throne, reinforcing castles. You know, they get the 500,000 food, 
10 troop speed ups, 3 regular speed ups, 3 wounded recovery, 1 morph acceleration, and 20k honor. So those are pretty sweet gifts you get to uh, give to everyone. It's pretty nice. It's not let me kick on, click on what the king gets as their buffs, but they get, I believe, 15% attack, 15% defense, and they get 10% march boost. So, it's pretty sweet, man. I mean, you're going to have a huge march plus 15% uh, attack, 15% defense. That's like having two VIP 10s on minus the 15% uh, uh, health. So, that's pretty sweet if you ask me. But here are the buffs. You got the queen buff, which I believe gives some resource protection and total resource production. That's inside your castle. That's not like gathering speed. So that's not that sweet. Here's the best one in my opinion for, de for developing. You get 5% training speed, 5% building speed, and 5% research speed. This is the most well-rounded one. It's called the Prime Minister. That's a pretty sweet one to get. If you get Prime Minister, you're a pretty important person in the Alliance. Uh, the Judge, it's also sweet. That's 5% troop training speed. Um, troop speeding. Soldier training speed. Fuck that. Screw me up. Um, and the resource production. That's inside the castle. No big deal. Finance officer. That's okay. Upkeep minus 10%. 5% total resource production. Not really that great. Knight. It's pretty cool. That's for attacking. 10% march speed, 5% troop attack. It's a pretty good buff. They gave it to King G because it's the throne. And they gave guard to thunder, which is 5% troop defense, 5% troop attack. So this is good for the throne because since you're being attacked, it's got the troop defense. And that's a nice thing to have in Dragon Campaign and Ancient Battlefield as well. The guard's more well-rounded than the uh, knight. So that's a great one to have. As you can see, the knight only has one buff, not two. Uh, then the scholar, that's science research speed up, I believe, 10%. So you want to give that to people um, for researching that they're going to read. This is a great one. This is actually probably the, the best one and the one that you want to pass around the most. 10% building speed up. I actually got this. Painkiller was um, the king when I got my level 30, and I got to use this 10% building speed up. You know, on a 30-day building, that saves you three days of uh, speed up. So that was pretty sweet that I got to use that um, at the perfect timing. Because at that time, we weren't winning a lot of thrones. At the beginning of this, the throne wars, we won like, I'd say like 75% at the beginning. But then we're slipping to probably like 25%. So it flipped around on us here. But we're outnumbered. We're growing, though. And... We have a lot more strong castles than they do. They only have five strong castles and a bunch of shit castles. And a bunch of people that suck at the game. Where we have about eight to ten strong castles. And then another twenty pretty good strong castles. Twenty-six and up that care about the game and are really good and really helpful. And then we probably have another fifteen to twenty people who have twenty-two plus castles. Who care about the game and are really awesome as well. So we're a very good alliance. One of the best in Clash of Kings. One of the best English alliances in Clash of Kings. But we're not English. We're all languages. But the leaders, uh, the founders were English. So, But we're multilingual. You know, we got Japanese, Korean, Turks, and a lot of other countries too. Um, but yeah, that ain't. those aren't the only buffs. Of course, there's the slave buffs, and there's there I am in a dress twerking. 10% uh, troop attack, minus 10% troop, minus 5% resource production. That's no big deal. The troop pack which sucks. I hope I can lose this uh, before the kill event. But that this that isn't even the worst one. I'll show you the worst one. Stableman is not the worst one either. That's nothing. 10% upkeep, big deal, and total resource production minus 5%. That's a worthless buff. Jester, this is the worst buff that you can get. Minus 5% soldier training speed. And this one I had, or minus 10% soldier training speed. This one pisses me off so much, and they're probably going to give it to me if they watch this video. But nothing pisses me off more than this soldier training speed. And when I get this soldier training speed, Jester, 
I will come and fuck shit up for 24 hours straight until they give me the maid buff back. Because I hate this buff so much. It is so annoying. You cannot use your speed ups because you're going to eat through, you know, on 20 hours, you're eating through an extra two hours speed up every time. It drives me nuts. And if I get the jester again, I will be coming and hitting every tile on the enemy side of the map for 20 hours in a row. I'll sleep four hours, get up, slam a Mountain Dew, and do it again. I hate that buff. That's the worst buff you can get. So this one um, is civilian, 5% troop defense. You know, the king wants to give these buffs to people as needed. So they'll get the um, scout and civilian if they're about to hit somebody. So if you ever see a friend of yours get hit with the scout or civilian, that means that they're about to skill attack or rally attack them. This is the worst one for attack and defense. This is what they'll give the people if they're, uh, if they're in the throne and they're about to attack you, they'll give you the scout. Minus 8% troop defense, minus 8% troop attack. So that's a big deal, but not really on Bella. His stats are so ridiculous anyway, they can't even touch them. The robber, Joker Chaos, representing the robber. 20% resource protection. This is actually the coolest debuff to get because it looks sweet on your castle. As you can see my avatar up in the top left. That's what it looks like, the robber, and I put a Cincinnati red hat and a joint in its mouth. So I was the robber last time. Um, that's the coolest one to get because it don't really do anything, but it still looks cool. And then this one, criminal, minus 15% march speed. That can get annoying. It slows you down if you're, like, marching far. But, you know, it's not detrimental. No big deal. And then Hellfire's got the fool. That's the donkey. It's minus 15% research speed. That kind of sucks now if they have these equipment researches and everyone's doing them. So that slows you down a little bit. Hellfire's cool, though. He's a German guy. Uh, he don't have any farms, but he's got, like, a 28 castle. I miss 29 castle and... He's spending big money. We have big spenders in LOK. They're not all, not everyone's big time farmers. We have a lot of big time farming, but we have some big spenders too. Half these people on this board are big spenders. So those are the King Buffs guys. I hope you enjoy this. I made this video because some of you said in the comments, make a video on the throne buffs. So that's why I was making this video. I read all the comments. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions on videos that you want to see me make. And I'll uh, try my best to make them in a timely fashion. So I appreciate you guys. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe. If you do not know how to subscribe, leave a comment. And I will show you how to subscribe. You can click the picture in the middle. And it will take you to subscribe. And that's important to me. That shows me how much support I have. And how many of you guys are watching. Uh, so until next time. Peace.